I guess we should have put this in a big ups to uh, Masika Signs with Def Jam. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's Shout good. Shout out to Masika. Somebody, I mean, big up just a random guy. Just a mm. random youth. He showed us like Cardinal Official, which is mm. like a Canadian Jamaican. He's the no, he's now an ANR for Def Jam. Mm-hmm. And maybe that's one of the things or one of the reasons why Masika um got signed you know because obviously he has his heir to it um yeah you to the ground mm-hmm. let me see if we can pull it up um so this says tunji balong balogon chairman and ceo of def jam records i mean a press release that we got said def jam has always been home of four great artists across the wide spectrum of black music and massacre is very much emblemic of that vision representing the new wave of jamaican dancehall and reggae massacre's versatility and unique sonic perspective has the potential to impact markets all over the world it feels like the beginning of something very special we're excited to welcome him to our def jam family shout out man yeah. it's a, a good look um, this is something that I've been... Oh, sorry. So it's Latrice Burnett. She uh-huh. said, as a lifelong fan of fan of reggae and dancehall music, I've been tracking Massacre's rise very closely. He's a phenomenal artist and one we're proud to partner with as we continue to come our commitment to developing and supporting great mu- artists from around the world. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so maybe he's not Cardinal Official, but he was signed mm. to Cardinal Official was signed as the new ANR for something. Big up Ross Dunbar for this press release. Show us the massacre. Um uh-huh. as my day are pre's like cause uh-huh. we may or may not put this up on the main channel. Um because our Wagwan I'm trying to occupy the minds of the people receiving this news. Is this big news? At least in the eyes of the people. Like what it mean to them. Like you get you get a match I go with this? Alright. So we might put this out and people may not even fucking care. Because then my pretend say, hey, that's a good look, but we're well, actually far from it. Oh, because we've been burnt before, or yeah. well, not we, well, but well, the music. We as fans and yeah, the genre general, as ourselves you know, has, has not has really been purposed. So it's like we see the news with Jada Kingdom, we see even with Shen C and like we see Skilly this. Bang. Skilly Bang. Skilly Bang. Even though we yes. kind of see Skilly Bang and make some yeah, you know, yeah. inroads into that scene. Protégé, he, they were signed to RC. It's Protégé as yeah. well. It's like... Mm-hmm. People probably are pretty sad. So what does what what does this all mean? What true? Because uh, to be honest, really I don't know thing. exactly what kind of deal did he sign. Is it like a distribution? Is it like they're gonna um, put money into other albums, things like that? So it's just like, yeah. So let's see here. No, 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 no. Them says yet to be officially announced mm-hmm. partnership. So really need we really know what type of exactly. deal it is. Yeah. I really know. But then again it's like we well, say yeah, like we we're, we're gonna ask these questions. Like what is deal encompass? I think um we did see the news. I think we did see the news that DJ Khaled him sign with the Def Jam as well, name as them global creative consultant mm-hmm. did he have a hand in this as a, it's like what's the nature of the relationship and what can we as dancehall fans look forward from it i mean that's the thing i mean it's all going to be speculation um i think it it, it it can't hurt really to have the backing of a major label like def jam um legendary yeah because you just think label of, right yeah. by the way um yeah you can't you it, it can't hurt it really can't hurt and even if it's just like he has like a million they give him like them and i'm saying to like a three label 
or a three rec- three album deal mm. where he has to produce three album under their imprint um you know and they're in charge of music videos and um distribution and marketing and promotion and everything i mean we've seen where bad deals are signed by artists and they suffer in the long world long run like financial wise but you know maybe it's a give and take where he's able to further himself into the american market Mm. you know which is where everybody wants to be um we made reference to the super bowl because america they're they're big but they're not the entire world but then you know once you make it there like that's when you get world um acclaim and you know world recognition basically Mm. essentially so you know it can't hurt it really can't hurt and maybe this is where that you can push him to get nominated for um like a a grammy which i'm assuming would be under the reggae the reggae award right you know, would get him to be actually nominated if and maybe can, win. If him can reproduce what he did with a 438, I'm, I'm sure it wouldn't hurt his it chances. It would not hurt his chances. And maybe probably collaborate with more internet, with like major international rap artists, which can, him can probably win an, another Grammy for like best collaboration, um, hip hop, whatever, you know, mm. like things like that. So, I don't know. We, we really don't know what it's going to be like. I probably we shouldn't focus on necessarily what it could mean. What I mean, that's what the signing in, entails. It's just let's look towards the future and the possibility of what it would mean for him, mm. you know, overall in the long run. So I hope, you know, he does what he needs to do, work with them. I hope he's like a, re, a proper collaboration that he has with the, 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 the record label, mm. you know, and... Yeah, it's like properly work with him. Because we've seen where the these... Music and yeah, that, that's him. the thing that I was just going to get into. We've seen where these major labels handle, like, drop the ball. They mishandle some of the artists because they don't really know what the fuck we do with them. Um, Them see the raw potential there and them see that them have a, 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 a burgeoning fan base that, you know, if tendered to can actually become something but them don't really know for do the tendering you know what i mean yeah, the nurturing you know what i mean like them not really it, like <laughs> we've seen it time and time again i believe uh when we spoke to adam last week him kind of did allude to it as mm-hmm. well um but i don't know if we speak to him in private or in public about that but like yeah like him talk about like major labels having these artists and them not really know how to handle them i and really know how to do on, 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 was it on here yeah. yeah 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 um so it's like, yeah, um, one of the things that as much as as much acclaim as the album 438 had, it was missing that single. It was. Uh, and that major, was the thing that I single. said. People people I realized people never really understood what I was saying, but you mm. got it, right? Like yeah. the album in its entirety is a good album, but you know, but I've listened to quite a number of albums and I know that there is usually a lead track and single that would help sell the album. Yeah. You know, and it's usually a a dance track like a dancing track a moving track a track that will get you bopping and moving and feeling good and nice and whatever like everybody every most albums are and most albums that do well usually have that one lead single sometimes it's the only single the only song on the, the album that you like that's a really bad album uh. but you know um most albums have that and I just thought that he was lacking that so maybe also that's another thing work with and they were there you know it's just that I don't think they're properly they were all sad they were all sad and then they weren't all sad they they weren't weren't. all sad the song with him and that that one that was there um it was like the rollout of them it just never was kind of lacking in certain respects even King the music video for that did you know, people out there did say, and even we did, I think we did a reaction to it. Me and Javi was like, you know, there are certain things that could have been done better with even that music video. Mm-hmm. Um, but there wasn't really that single. Yeah. Of course, it had great songs, songs. There, but it wasn't that single that, yeah. you know, you can say, yeah, this crossover mm-hmm. or this was necessarily wrong. I wasn't even thinking about place. crossing over. It's just like, yeah. Eh, yeah. It wasn't really that single. So maybe. Like if, if, all right. Like, if Skeng with the beast of beast of the era, uh-huh. no fuck that. Coffee, her EP, the toast. Yeah, that, that was the single. That was the single. That was the single. Yeah. That was the one that was on Barack Obama's list. That had the tongue song when most people overseas. Even our, our last album, um, 
Lot Down. Lot Down was the single. Um, and there was um, another one. We should in England. And then um that um no no, 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 him don't make bad songs. So the formula to create the single, mm-hmm. like that single, mm-hmm. it shouldn't be that far off. No, but the thing is, and we and we've made mention of this. We've seen where several rappers, mm. freestylers, people who are very good with like pen game, yeah. they're always focused on like rhyming and whatever, whatever. Mm. So funny enough, funny enough, and let me let me. Let me give Popcorn a compliment since people think that I don't like him. But people think you don't like him, really? People think that I don't like Popcorn. It's oh, yeah. crazy. But just because crazy. the point out says some of my lyrics have never make no sense. Right. But the thing is, what what one of the things that work in Popcorn favor is that he is really good with just like Melody making. Melody. Mm. And that's like one of the key components of really a, a nice pop songs like you know just something simple that you can sing along to or whatever yeah. so all you clearly see that Masika is an intelligent person and he's just trying to show and that's one of the things that change cartel too like change him from like a yeah he's my one yeah he's my bad artist in lyrical da, 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 but to an artist that can do songs that people can sing along to that's true and you to, to Masika's credit you yeah. know, he has improved on that over true. the years I think that's true. why him eventually boss yeah. he got better at making good, good songs, songs instead of bad, bad songs, songs in, in, in a Jamaican parlor, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, like back of lyrics and say yeah. yo he's bad like because yeah. we always know him as which bad which is that which is most freestyle and most people who are good with freestyling or whatever like them always mm. want to show how deaf they are with like rhyming and this deaf or dope deaf D- oh okay okay okay, 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 okay. <laughs> at um you know like putting like you know work you ever really of like spell this out for some people yeah I'm uh, sorry they're deaf like <laughs> <laughs> um like you know right really skilled yeah. skilled lyricist yeah. and he is but that like sometimes like fuck like slow down fuck like what you saying like that mm. so that's why and that's why i brought up popcorn because popcorn there's a simplicity to popcorn that is like you can sing along and groove along to his songs mm. you know but okay but that's it so it's like it's like to merge those two talents of like being a really good lyricist and bringing the melody into it and then you can really make a fucking dope dance or song mm. you know or a reggae good. song or whatever something that you know fun easy it's fun danceable that's why even this the, what the song when they do with cartel again name um with massacre do with cartel um the images of the music video yeah, like readily in a beach far on to a mine. Ski, uh, right? they were yacht, I think. Um, yeah. But that song they did bad. Right. But and then but it inferred. goes. Inferred. Is it? It's inferred. Yeah, it was the best song that was released that year. Yeah. Huh. Hold on, let me sing it again. It's inferred. No, I remember, I don't remember. You don't remember the melody? Ugh. Yes, but yeah, so you know that scene, so that's what and, and, and that's what I mentioned Carter because that was the one that transitioned him from like really into the lanes of dance hall to like this international um like dance hall fans only, like like deep cut dance hall fans to like everybody, like kids, our people. Yeah. yeah. So it's just to be able to make that transition and make mm. it like that just make the combine both skills both of them so people and you have take that next level because mm-hmm. as i said he has shown the ability to do that yeah on the past couple it's just about yeah. taking that next level yeah and um, i mean a couple artists it. here we, we've seen them doing it yeah. so it's just see him for him to merge it and i think maybe having a <laughs> having a label mm. the saying is true uh, and I believe it more to my core more than ever now. If you want to go, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And I think a label like having a proper team with everybody knowing them role and knowing 
what to do on the team mm. can help people reach far and to reach them greatest potential, you know, and, and even surpass that great potential. But the tricky thing is, as we've been, uh, you know, talk about and discuss here is that you may have them in place and they may know what to do. They may know what to do with a hip hop artist. Mm -hmm. They may not know what to do with a dancer artist. You but I mean? I mean they've had they years. They know what for doing that. They say it work with that demand. Yeah. But what work with that demand? They not gonna necessarily work Facts. with this demand. Yeah. Facts. You know what I mean? Facts. Each person is different. Yeah. yeah. You never really can tell that the market is such a <laughs> the vagaries of the market. It's mm. so unpredictable. Like you really have no idea. Like what hit or what a hit. Like that song wasn't supposed to bust, but it bust. And that song you think I got bust, no bust. No so, bust. It's true. Yeah. You know, I thought just King would have been that so song. King of Afima would have been that song, but it wasn't really yeah. that song. Um. So yeah, you're right. It's so unpredictable. And sometimes a mirror that factors will just contribute to whether a song bust or not. And yeah. Things like that. True. Yeah. True. I mean, yeah, it's just. Just got, I mean, as I said, like he's gonna have he goes he's going to have the help. Yeah. And he's and not just the help, like the the skills has have access to the, the skills, the talent, the the intelligence of people greater than him and in the bigger space, but he's probably gonna have access to more resources and money that can help him, you know, like so if you want to do this, he can probably do this and what he had to do on a lower scale, he can do on a great greater scale. Mm. So, you know, I mean we don't know what it's going to yield and I completely agree with your thought process of like we've seen where other artists are signed to major labels and it didn't really yield anything great or grand that That's we can say. It's in particular. But, um, and as I said, what we can say, but maybe it worked for the artists, maybe. You know, they're, yeah. So hopefully this Def Jam thing put him on shows. Maybe he can do Summer Jam, maybe yeah. Coachella, maybe... Ah. You know, like great things. So let's see. We I'm, need to see more art dancehall artists of of his ilk. Yeah. Upon them, the type of stage. True. The Coachellas. I know, like we're starting to see like Skilly Bang, yeah. like, but I want to see more of them young artists that aim for them type of yeah. heights. There. Yeah. You know, what I mean, if it's that they're not aiming, like yeah. we want to see them upon them type of stage. Yeah. You see me? Call me up again. Shall hold no space. Remember what I say. So hear my call. Champagne ice down with the NC. Diamond bright be my Jeep with the leather seat. Mansion in nice sky for a better breeze. I'm a seat in a tree. So when you smile, can you capture me out of my soul? You must just watch you walk and you move. Yeah.